WWE icon The Rock makes a surprise return on SmackDown, delivering a people's elbow to Austin Theory. The question is, is this the beginning of more for the great one in WWE? Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. And let's talk about The Rock, the great one, the people's champion making his return last night on SmackDown on Fox. It had been widely speculated throughout the day after making his appearance on the Pat McAfee show that was in Colorado, the site of SmackDown last night. It was reported prior to SmackDown by the likes of Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select that people on Pat McAfee's staff, the Pat McAfee show, had told them outright that Pat McAfee and The Rock were going to be there. They were unable to confirm that at the time, but after watching the first few minutes of SmackDown, it was there for all to see The Rock back inside of a WWE ring for the first time on SmackDown since the premiere episode of SmackDown on Fox back in 2019. Let's get straight into it because as I mentioned, The Rock made his shocking return last night on SmackDown. Dwayne The Rock Johnson returned alongside, it must be said, Pat McAfee who actually opened the show last night to run down Austin Theory in Denver, Colorado on Friday night and those in attendance at SmackDown made a hell of a lot of noise for the returning People's Champion who, as I mentioned, hadn't been seen on WWE television since 2019, since the Fox premiere of SmackDown back in October of 2019. And once again, he actually was in the opening segment of that show. McAfee, who had obviously been on the Pat McAfee show an hour away on ESPN, he will co-host College Game Day from the same location in Boulder today, that being Saturday, September 16, made the journey to the Ball Arena to greet the WWE Universe, but was interrupted by former foe and former United States champion Austin Theory. After telling Theory he was just out there to, quote, enjoy the local laws. What laws are they, Pat? McAfee brought out none other than the great one himself, The Rock, who had appeared, as I mentioned, on the Pat McAfee show earlier on in the day to an objectively earth-shaking ovation from the Denver crowd, having not seen him in nearly four years. The Rock soaked in the crowd's adoration for a while before heading down to the ring, taking off his jacket and announcing, The Rock has finally come back to Denver, or should we say, finally, The Rock has come back to Denver. He soon had the crowd running down theory as well, though noise at home listened to mostly muted broadcasts as Fox opted to censor the holy shit chants and somewhat less than organic you're an asshole chance as well. Eventually, Theory tried to get the jump on the People's Champion, but was denied and taken to the ground before the Hollywood star hit Theory with the People's Elbow. The Rock then gestured for McAfee, who had been dancing and, uh, and observing in the corner for the segment, to hit a people's elbow of his own. The pair celebrated it in the ring while Theory was left laying. Uh, in addition to that, it wasn't actually The Rock's only appearance of the night as well, because maybe in an even more earth-shattering appearance, once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime, thrice in a lifetime apparently, because in addition to his in-ring segment, The Rock briefly encountered none other than 16-time WWE World Champion John Cena back backstage. So he wasn't, uh, it, was, it was certainly a very memorable moment that he did not interact with any current or former member of the bloodline, it must be said. During his uh, McAfee appearance, Johnson said that there had been plans for a WrestleMania match against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39. We'll get to those quotes in just a second. But he did also say that he's open to a match with Reigns at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia next year. Of course, Johnson, a bit like John Cena, is currently dealing with the Hollywood writers and actors strike. And it's actually impacted um, his broader media endeavors as well with certain contracts being cancelled because of the strike as well as I mentioned though The Rock was in the headlines anyway yesterday not only for his appearance on the Pat McAfee show which got a lot of people chatting in general McAfee and The Rock both of the pro wrestling circles as it were so they chatted a bit of WWE but really what got a lot of people talking is The Rock for the first time confirming indeed there were plans in place for The Rock to face off against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39 at SoFi Stadium earlier this year and actually plans were set in place a long time ago but for whatever reason they didn't happen. As I mentioned The Rock confirmed he was set to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39 at one point ahead of WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles, California. Many fans had speculated The Rock could return to WWE and face his cousin the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns in a major dream match. In fact it felt like they were always teasing that considering Reigns is the biggest superstar in WWE is on the 
this historic long-term uh, championship reign. He started using the rock bottom at certain points, constantly talking about the bloodline. There is no one bigger in his bloodline than the great one himself. So we always felt like we were heading towards that match as a possible endpoint or destination. Instead, despite plenty of teasing, the two stars, of course, never crossed paths. Reigns ultimately faced and defeated Cody Rhodes in the main events of WrestleMania 39 instead. Speaking on the Pat McAfee show yesterday, as I mentioned, The Rock was asked how close a match with Reigns at WrestleMania 39 was to happening. He stated that the bout was, quote, locked as he agreed to it during a meeting with Vincent Mann and Nick Khan in early 2022. He said, quote, The Rock headlining WrestleMania with Roman Reigns, SoFi Stadium, that was locked. We were doing it. But let me just tell you. So about in the beginning of 2022, Nick Khan, very good friend. He's the man. He was very instrumental in bringing Vince and I together. We all flew to LA. We met. We sat. This was the beginning of 2022. We broke out the Terramana. We toasted life. We toasted the business we love. And about an hour later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. We shook hands and we hugged right there, all three of us at the table and said, let's do this. So then we had a year to really think about this. So the North Star thought was, OK, let's not do something good. Let's not do something great. Let's do something unprecedented. It was in what can we create for the fans that has never been done before. A match, great. Roman, incredible athlete. He's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Super handsome, good dude. My cousin, family, amazing. We can have the match. But the bigger thought was, what can we do for the fans? and the business that we love where WrestleMania isn't the end of something it's actually the beginning of something bigger The Rock said The Rock continued by noting that they got quote really close but they couldn't figure out how to make the match something truly special he stated that they agreed to delay it and the former world champion as I spoke about previously teased that he could potentially be open to having the match at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia next year or possibly just doing something else in general he said quote so we got really really close but we couldn't actually nail what that thing was so we decided to put our pencils down we agreed hey listen there's a merger coming up eventually that will happen there's WrestleMania in Philadelphia. He raised the people's eyebrow. I'm saying that's potential too. I'm open. I'm open. But again, let's figure out what it is because the fans deserve something just incredible and unprecedented. Not only that, but I also want to deliver to the locker room and the boys and the girls in the back who are working their asses off. What can we do to put them in a position where they're part of something that is a new change and era in this world of pro wrestling? Vince is a big picture thinker, as you know. This is why we've gotten along for years. Just trying to think big picture, so we'll see. So, of course, fans will have to wait and see whether or not The Rock will return to in-ring competition. Of course, he returned to television last night. Nevertheless, he did tease that possibly stuff could happen in the future regarding that. In April, Roman Reigns did say he didn't even know how close a match between The Rock was to happening. Um, Brian Gerwitz, who was actually backstage last night, he's The Rock's kind of personal writer and collaborator on a lot of projects when it comes to creative. He recently said he would be shocked if The Rock appeared in WWE during the SAG after strike, but he'd be more shocked if he never appeared again. Um, of course, he was backstage last night, so I don't know how shocked he would be about all of that. As far as Pat McAfee and his WWE status at the moment... He says he's living the dream. Of course, McAfee joined ESPN College Game Day in September 2022, bringing his run as a SmackDown commentator to an end for the time being. He has made one-off appearances at the Royal Rumble earlier this year at WrestleMania 39, where he had a match against The Miz. He made, obviously, his surprise return last night on SmackDown, opening the show to pave the way for The Rock to make his incredible return. Um, on a SmackDown exclusive, McAfee commented on his return, saying, quote, It was an absolute honor. I got the incredible opportunity to come to a SmackDown show because the show I do every single Saturday college game day is in Boulder which is up the road 45 minute drive down here hopped on a bus showered in the bus to get here as soon as I heard there was an opportunity to do something I literally sprinted back McAfee said McAfee also shared his thoughts on sharing the ring with the rock he called Austin Theory a bum but admitted that he looked good McAfee then noted that WWE has also always been a dream destination for him and he's grateful for everything he has been able to do during his time with the company 
He said, quote, that bum Austin Theory, I was in the ring with him again. He looked good, look, look, looking a, locking a, a black tank top. He does look fantastic. It's just the inside of him that's terrible. You can't really change that. But yeah, The Rock and I had the chance to chat earlier today on my show. He was electrifying. And then tonight to get to be in the ring, I got to see all of it happen. His spine busted, the people's elbow, the eyebrow raised, the it doesn't matter, the him starting you're an asshole chant. I was there for the whole thing. The WWE my entire life has been been a dream destination everything that i've been able to do here i'm incredibly lucky and thankful for grateful for it i tried to enjoy i definitely did that tonight it's a dream being back for sure mcafee continued by noting how wild being able to share the ring with stone cold steve austin and the rock has been he stated that he is living his dream and he knows every kid that grew up in his generation had that dream as well mcafee emphasized his gratitude and stated that he is trying to enjoy the experiences he said quote i it's so stupid i got stunned by stone cold steve Austin at WrestleMania in Texas. Then I got to drink some Steve Weisers with him afterwards. I just got to do a people's album with The Rock. I'm living not only my dream, but I know pretty much every kid that grew up in my generation's dream. So I hope I'm doing you guys proud. I'm trying to enjoy it. I am beyond thankful for it all. Now, the former SmackDown commentator was also asked to share his thoughts on the newly casual Michael Cole that fans have seen in recent months. McAfee made it clear that he likes it, and he also called Cole the greatest of all time. He then teased that he is confident he will get to work with Cole again at some point. He said, quote, I love it. He always has to be the buttoned up guy doing the play-by-play, -play, which is the greatest of all time, bar none. I understand there's a conversation for some other people, but they haven't been playing, uh, paying close enough attention. What Michael Cole has done throughout his career at the WWE is second to none but now he's got a little attitude a little spice a little personality he looks unbelievable i'm incredibly lucky that i got to work with michael cole and i'm still very confident that it will happen again now it's not known when mcafee will appear on wwe television again most likely in several months time nevertheless it was a massive moment and a massive segment last night that many people certainly enjoyed so what were your thoughts on the rock's return last night what are your thoughts on the plans for the future regarding the great one do you ever think we'll see the rock wrestle again against roman reigns let me know your thoughts as always in the comment section below and i'll speak for you again very very soon hey guys thank you for watching listening streaming or however you come across this video today be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video or click the bottom there to subscribe or the bottom right hand corner thank you very much and i'll speak to you again very soon